So we've seen the none type a few times already. I'm going to go ahead and just print the type of none. And we can see that class none type. None type class has only one potential value, and that's none. We can consider this to be the absence of a value, but it actually is a value called none that just represents the absence of a value. So why is this helpful? The, the immediate place this is helpful is in function returns. So anytime you write a function, let's say returns eight, I can just return eight. And if I print this, if I print the call to that function, we're going to see an output of eight. Pretty straightforward. Now what happens if I do not explicit return anything? It is going to return none. And I can actually, let's say I do something else in here, like x gets seven and I don't explicitly have a return statement, by default, there is a secret return none in here. Return blank is also return none. The absence of a return is return none. Now, what if I print, what if I print x? Notice, we do indeed print this value seven, but this print down here on line five is going to print none because that's what our function is returning to this function call, which is then printed. So fundamentally, when you're troubleshooting a problem and you're seeing none pop up, this is probably due to some function call that you're making that isn't returning anything. And here's just an interesting side note. What if I call print on print? So I'm going to call print on the print function, printing a. So this inner print function is printing hey. We can see that up here. The outer print function is going to print none because print actually doesn't return anything. It only outputs to the console, therefore we're seeing a none. 